If we're talking about rivalry, Pepperdine and San Diego is definitely what comes to mind in the WCC conference. For the past four years, us and them have been the best teams of the conference, and WCC title has always been in the hands of either us or them. So, playing the University of San Diego was always one of the biggest matches of the year. And this year, the difficulty was double. They were the best they've been since I've been in college, ranked at number 12, and we were playing them away at their courts, which is known to be a big advantage for them. As for any big match, we got there a couple days early to get some good practice in, get a feel for the slow courts, they're even slower than ours, and just concentrate straight on the match. On Friday morning, after a good warm-up, we were ready to rumble. We were soon into double score number two, facing one of the toughest pair we play all season, Oliver Tarvet and Stian Klaassen. We started on my serve and on the ad side, they had a one-handed backhand, so we knew that the kick wide was definitely a good serve target. And this is just the second round of the match, but it gets pretty good, so I'll let you watch. Yeah, it unfortunately ends up missing the volley there. We're facing a break point straight away, and once again I go kick wide and that hits the spot. Juice point, I go for a body first serve. Eddie's ready with the reflexes, and the slow slice gives me a chance to absolutely rip a forehand that gives us the vital hold. At the match with on though, they started playing better and better, and always kept us on our toes. Like with this return here, they're able to gain a break point. Yeah, I should have closed that volley and Eddie misses the back in there and that puts us in some early trouble. They were a very energetic team, as all the San Diego guys are. Here you can see a simple hold and they get pumped as if they won a single championship. We had to fight back though, you know? Try to cut their confidence and take away some momentum. Game point here, and again probably should have closed this volley, but nonetheless we win the point anyway. 30-15 on their serve now, and this is how a lot of points went honestly. We were at the back ripping, and they were at the net putting in volley after volley. And maybe we could have been creative and lobbed or something, you know? But yeah, we were the ones that missed eventually. We lose that game when we were 4-2 down. Another long rally develops here. Unfortunately, the lob is just out. We get to do that, another break would be a mess. This is a rare instance where they miss, so we are pretty pumped about it. You know, 5 2 in a 1 set match is pretty much done, but 4 3, there's still a lot of hope. I don't mind being in this place ripping forehands, but the problem is, I don't think he minded either. And he's like the ultimate college player, like super pumped, doesn't give away a single ball, and so on. Anyway, after the slob, I rip once again, and honestly, yeah, I can't believe I missed that. 4 15, and once again, can't do much of their serve, and we can just focus on the next. I start off with a double fault, so we're down love 15. Love 30. Very stupid of me to play short to him there. I opened the court up for him so much. We fight back the next two points and it's 30-40, third match point for them. My forehand goes deep and yeah, that's a doubles point. Disappointing performance and now it'll be really really hard to beat this team as we need a four singles matches, but we have to try our best nonetheless. We get as usual the five minute break in between doubles and singles and we kind of use this to regroup and pump each other up. Um, for the singles matches and try to see what we're focusing on. This was needed a lot in this case because it was probably the biggest match of the year up until now. I was playing at two singles after last week playing at one for my first and only time. I was playing against Irovaza, a player from Finland ranked 850 ATP and 100 in the ITA college rankings. He was also UTR 13.05. I knew his game style very well, good server and aggressive player, similar to me I would say. Except he surely liked coming to the net more than I did and obviously had no limitations on the back at the moment. Third point in and this level looks good already I would say. I was definitely trying to be aggressive before he was to try and control the point. A good drop shot here and four into the other side. As I said he was a very good server and it wasn't always exactly easy to get in the rally. He holds that game, and I knew I also had to serve well myself, because they were the slowest hardcourts ever, as slow as they get. Even slower than our home courts, which is very difficult. 
but I like slow hardcores. They suit well my big swings. So if you watched my last video, you saw that I sliced for the entire match. And even the matches before, I was slicing the most possible, just hitting a few backhands here and there. And that was obviously because I was very much in pain, but also because this big match was coming up and I wanted to get to today with the least pain possible. I obviously couldn't get away with just slicing today. Anyway, he doesn't put away the volley there and I put up a decent enough lob and that gives me the hold. Love 15 this next game and it's time to put some pressure here and let a few foreigns lose. My favorite inside in here and I just have to tap the volley to the other side. Love 30, high deep return after adjusting to his serve hitting the next trap. And that's what I'm talking about there, back in line, very painful to execute, but he doesn't expect it and that gave me 3 breakpoints. 1540 then, and right from the start this rally is a grind, I can only defend. Back in here is very blocked and yeah I don't make it. Another breakpoint here, serve and volley, decent return by me, and then I try a one hander this time and why not, break on 2. It was massive to be up a break this early. Because he's a player that if it scores in his favor can absolutely demolish you and you can't do anything about it. So it was good to know there was pressure on him, but I had to do better than this backhand. 15-30 down and big ace wide, right when I need it. 40-30 and another good serve, lots of first serves so far. Big hole to go up 3-1. He plays pretty easy game there and has no trouble holding himself. I start off the next game with another ace. I don't really ace that much in a match, usually like 1 to 2 at most, so the fact that I was at 2 this early in the match was pretty good and and if it carried on it was going to be a good helping hand. I take a break from top swing back and rely on my good old slice here to move him around a bit. I then move over to get foreigns and start drawing proper damage. Drops are here and a little scared as it was actually pretty close but I get away with it. 30 love, definitely want to keep the momentum and not let him into my service games, at least score wise. And as you can see I'm able to hit some backhands here. Still painful but I saved myself for this match so I knew it was going to be something that I had to deal with. And the scouts were probably confused when watching me because some matches I was playing backhands, some slices, some I was hitting one handers. And the next thing you know is I hit this down the line winner here, like pretty satisfying. Even the second serve seemed quite good today, not too short or slow, so that put me up in these points as well. Just as on 3-1, the service game is easy for him, a few errors and good serves and he's on my neck again. 30-15 on 4-3. It could get tricky if I lose this point. Just wide with the foreign. And at 30 all there's no first serve this time. So the rally's pretty much neutral, I would say here. He's definitely trying to trap me into the back end corner and change heights and spins to make my back end miss. I hang tight though and do my thing, getting some foreigns too. And then thankfully he hits the back end too hard and deep. Again, second serve here on 40-30 and as I said, the key was to be up in the score and he would give some mistakes here and there, like these last two points. Low 30 next game, maybe a chance to close a set here. Foreign winner though. Another big serve at 30-15. 30 all. Again serve plus one and as you can see he really turned it up this game. Four first serves in a row and that means I will have to serve it out. Good serve plus one here, which ends up being a plus two, but you get what I mean. Great way to start a game. This rally gets me pretty soon where I want to be, on the foreign cross. That's where I feel very good and where I have this option of going line. First set point, and the wind was picking up a little bit as you can hear from the camera. Anyway, I approach here, and then I try, I don't know what, I don't really know what this was. This was terrible. The next point though, the serve comes to the rescue, 6-4. Going to the second set, I was using the first set as guidance and just thinking to myself, if I can get an early break here, it will be a big momentum on my side. Volley winner and 30 all. Second serve wide at 30 all and a big shank by myself. The next point he double faults though. Deuce point. Yeah. 
Yeah, that volley miss was honestly a big miss for him, but you know what? I'm all for it. Just needed to consolidate the break now. Love 15, and tougher to play now and the wind picking up. So far this was his best game of the match, I literally couldn't do anything. Another great shot and that break was vanished. He definitely wanted to play big on that momentum shift and moment of confidence. And yeah, he was feeling great, serving great and temporarily stopped making mistakes. I wasn't gonna sit and watch though obviously, on my serve we'd play on my terms. A great winner to start the game. First serve that just touches his nest trap. And you know I'm ready for that inside in there. But I'm forced to slice here and yeah the point flips, he approaches and I'm forced to find a good pass and that was really good. I end up holding it, I didn't want to stop there, as you can see I'm extra aggressive there. And love flirty just like that. Really important point, good serve wide and I was sure he was gonna come to the net but he stays back and actually hit a pretty decent deep backhand. Couple forward left and right here seeing what's more effective and then this high ball comes and instead of smacking it I completely waste it. I see Musetti hitting this jumping drop shot all the time, not sure how he's able to make it. It was my lucky day though cause I get a free point after that and it's break points. Up a break again now and I was gonna give it my all to not get broken back. Good aggressive point here and he misses the pass and starts getting angry. And that could mean more free errors coming. And yeah, the next point he just misses an easy return. It wasn't easy to sneak away though, because on his serve sometimes I it was generally couldn't return. Especially after a while of him targeting my back and serving hard there, I was struggling. Lucky for me, I didn't really need to break him though. It was just a matter of holding from here on. Love 15 and tricky point. Really should have done better with this volley and then stupidly let this ball go by. But the serve was still there and when I most needed it, that's the crazy part. Huge foreign to make it 30 all. Great set of 3 points here to go up 40-30. Fly wide serve and I want to go aggressive with the foreign but I miss and now it's a problem. Gotta love these in college, game point and great point at the same time. My arm is as stiff as a rock here so I don't know why on earth I'd go for the drop shot but miraculously it works out and I can catch my breath. We're still neck and neck though even though a break separated us. As you can see a great foreign there by him. 30 all and so much on the line this point. It'd be massive to close it here, give a lift to my teammates who are losing. But just an inch or two out of the running forehand. And he holds to a big forehand next. Good serve, 15 love. Another point that starts with the first serve and I take advantage of that, moving him and being aggressive. The volley is enough to be a winner. I miss this point at 30 love so there's a little more pressure now. A bad toss on the second serve and that typically means one thing and one thing only. Yep, double fault. Slow second serve on 30 all and he just misses it by literally a quarter of an inch. I get very lucky there. First match point. Another match win, but second breakpoint in two games to defend. The inside out is wide, and that's another win on court two, and probably my best win of the year by ATP ranking. 
Tough match and good performance, but I had to go to support my teammates straight away. This match was a team effort, and after dropping the doubles point, we lost on court 1 and court 4, meaning one more singles loss and we were out. Court 3 and court 5 were currently early in the third set, so we all went to court 6 where we were 6-4, 5 all down, and so we needed that set badly. After saving some match points, we pushed the set to a tiebreaker, which itself was very tight. Unfortunately though, despite our best efforts to support, we lost the break at 7-5, and therefore lost the match forward. Always tough to lose with your biggest rival with that kind of score, and we definitely could have done better, but we still probably have another shot at beating them at the WCC conference tournament later this year. Definitely taking the confidence for my singles match though, and staying hungry for the next matches.